Hello, um, my name is Ian. My name is James. And today we're going to be learning about watersheds. A watershed is a collection of creeks and streams that are elevated and eventually meet at a central point such as a river or a lake or even an ocean. Yeah, and watersheds are important because they can tell us where water comes from and where it's going. And especially important because that water could be carrying stuff. And the way that happens is whenever it rains, uh, areas that are high up will have sediment and debris that will flow into the creeks and streams, which then further flow down uh, to lower locations and potentially at rivers, at uh, lakes and oceans, as I said before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to simulate that with a piece of paper and some marker and a very easy uh, thing that you could do at home. So. so. First, I'm just going to crinkle this paper up to give it some topography. Mm -hmm. right. Good. Let's make sure there's a, some good mountains in here. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, some areas of the paper are higher than others, so that would be our mountain ranges. Yeah. And so... We're going to color the top of the um, of these mountains, and that'll be our sediment or our pollutions um, that will come from the top of the mountains and drain down into the watersheds. If you're doing this at home, make sure that you really are generous with the marker. So the reason why you want to be generous with the marker is because, like in real life, uh, a lot of these pollutants and sediments will be collecting uh, for a very, very long time before we get any rain. And so the more color there is, the more you'll be able to see both visually and think about conceptually um, that the rain will carry more and more material down. Yeah. All right. I think we're ready. I'll make sure the Blackface stays nice and steep. Here comes the rain. There. Yeah. You can see right there um, that the the blue, the blue pollutant or sediment really came down off there because it was a really steep slope mm -hmm. and collected there. Um, yeah. And it also looks like there was a bunch at that location as well. Yeah, this, this whole, these two mountain rains kind of both lead into this one watershed here. So it's both of the mountain rains form the watershed and it kind of leads into this and could make a lake or it could flow off the page into a different body of water. Right, so imagine this paper extending further out, it's likely that this would be a river and flow all the way out until it reaches a lake or an ocean. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so yeah, that is our simulation of a watershed. And uh, watersheds are important because it can tell us where the water is coming from. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's important to know, you know how watersheds work because many times when we don't think about it, the food we eat, uh, you know, uh, w whenever we drive our cars, you know, whenever we litter, um, the, whenever it rains, all that stuff, all that pollution will flow down these watersheds. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really bad for the environment. And what's bad for the environment is bad for us. Because we do need water and we rely on watersheds. Mm -hmm. Watersheds are also important because everyone lives on a watershed. Even here in Indiana, where it's very flat, we don't have mountains like this, still our water will flow into the river that's nearby. And the, that river will flow into another river, which could flow into the Mississippi River. Everyone lives on a watershed, and every watershed will lead to another body of water, be it a lake or an ocean. So everyone in America will have a watershed that leads into the Great Lakes, or into the Atlantic Ocean, or into the Pacific Ocean. 
for example, the Mississippi River is a very large river that runs all across the United States. And every watershed that's connected to the Mississippi, whether it be from Illinois or Indiana or any states connecting to it, will all wind up in the Mississippi. And that Mississippi River will wind up in the Mississippi Delta and carry all the pollutants with it. So the Mississippi is literally carrying pollutants from several different states and creating what is known as a dead zone where animals and plants can't live right uh, where the Mississippi River empties. So that's why it's important to know your watersheds. So thank you for listening and uh, hope you learned something new today. <laughs>